It's Wednesday, May 24th, and if you've managed to pick up Samsung's latest Halo phone, the Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus, we hope you're enjoying it. But as we're sure you're aware, the pace of tech turnover is relentless, so you better believe Samsung is hard at work on its successor, the Galaxy S9. According to South Korean website The Bell, Samsung has already given the S9, or whatever it'll be called, the code name Star and Star 2 for the larger Plus model. The Bell reports that despite the appearance of prototypes and concept models, the Star, or S9, will not be a foldable phone. And this early in the process, it's likely no performance or specifications have actually been specified. Although the Bell claims the phone will have a dual lens camera and a subscreen fingerprint reader, two features that have also cropped up in leaks for the upcoming Galaxy Note 8. Hit the link for more information on Samsung's stars. Shooting your adventures in 360 is the current hot trend in photography, and companies are beginning to turn out 360-degree photo gear left and right. One company new to the game is GPS and avionics maker Garmin, and we just put their new Verb 4K 360 camera through its paces. It's a pretty trick rig. The Verb features image stabilization, a fleet of sensors, data overlays, four microphones, and a top-mounted screen for setting up and reviewing your pics and video. One feature we thought really stood out was the ability to control the Verb using voice commands, including starting and stopping recordings. Very handy indeed. Check out Hilary Gorgonis' complete review of the Garmin Verb 360 at the link. Well, this has to be the weirdest hacking attack idea we've seen in a while. According to online security firm Checkpoint, hackers can take control of your PC, phone, or streaming box through subtitles. No joke, Checkpoint says that hackers could insert malicious code into the text files that facilitate the on-screen translations of your favorite foreign film, and they've highlighted four apps they say are especially vulnerable. Popcorn Time, Kodi, VLC, and Streamio. At this point, Checkpoint says they are not aware of anyone now using the idea. Checkpoint actually pulled off the hack as their own proof-of-concept exercise. Fortunately, they've also posted links and instructions to solve the issues in those apps. But at this point, some of the fixes include some advanced computer skills. However, you can bet those app makers are scrambling to update their code to prevent a subtitle hack attack, so make sure your app gets updated. Subtitles, it's just so crazy. Well, that's it for DT Daily today. Get more tech news updates on our Facebook page and YouTube channel. And be sure to check out our latest computing podcast, Close to the Metal, where we go in-depth with the new Microsoft Surface Pro. Thanks for watching, and we'll be back again tomorrow.